all of those that are watching us with the peace of the Lord Jesus. We're going to pray now. We're going to plead so we can be close to Jesus. Lord, at this moment, we want to plead by the blood of Jesus, asking you, O Lord, to clean our hearts, remove everything that does not please you, that doesn't glorify you, so we can be, O Lord, in fellowship with you. This is our plead in the name of Jesus. Amen. And now, we're going to sing a song that says, To Pray is Good. To pray is good. To pray is good. It's good for the soul. It's good for the heart. It brings joy to the soul. It brings joy to the heart. To pray is good. To pray is good. Our God responds, removes the affliction. Our God responds and comforts the heart. Now let's sing another song. I want to walk forever with Jesus. I want to walk always with Jesus. To eternity he guides me. And whenever I have to fight a battle, he'll be there to protect me, sustain me, hold my hand, lift me up, give me salvation. To grow with him is my greatest treasure. To work for him is my praise. To work for him is my praise. In the month of December, people are celebrating a holiday called Christmas. But do you think everyone knows what Christmas means, what a true Christmas is? So we're going to learn what the Word of God has to say about Christmas today. And I'm going to read in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 10 and 11. And you're going to pay close attention. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And now look what I have here. Look what I have. What is this? It's a cake. But is it a regular cake? No. It's a birthday cake which is used to celebrate someone's birthday. It could be my birthday, yours, your brother, your sister, your cousins, your friend. And the day that we celebrate our birthday is the day of our birth, the day we were born. Look at the baby right here. Look at the cute baby. He has the day of his birth. And the day of his birth is the day that he celebrates his birthday. Do you know what this day is called? The day of our birth is called Christmas. So Christmas means birth. But do you remember Adam and Eve? When Adam and Eve disobeyed the Lord, when they lost the blessings of God, God made a plan to save us through Jesus because God did not want us to be in this, this world and die here without eternal life. So God made a plan to save us through Jesus because Jesus, he is God, he's powerful, and he can save us. And look here what happened. Much uh, long before, before Jesus was born, God said, God told the people because the pe cause God did not want the people to be tricked. So he told the people about the birth of Jesus. And when this time came around, God sent an angel, Gabriel, to the, the house of a servant of God named Mary. Look at Mary's heart right there. Do you know why Mary was chosen to be this, the, the mother of Jesus? Because she was obedient. She was obedient. She did what pleases the, pleased the Lord. She had a clean heart. 
So the angel said to, to Mary that she was chosen to be the mother of Jesus. And he told her that she would have a special baby and his name would be Jesus. He would be son of God, son of the highest. And she would be full of the blessings of the Holy Spirit. And all that God said happened. And Mary, she became pregnant. And this baby was born and started to grow. And w when it was close to their birth, her, her and her husband Joseph, they had to go to a city called Bethlehem. And here in the city of Bethlehem, they looked for a place to stay because they were tired. Jesus was close to being born. So they started searching for a hotel so they could stay. Because Jesus was born. So they knocked the door and they asked, excuse me, is there somewhere for us to stay? And you know, people said, nope, there's no place. It's full. There's no more room. And he went to another one. Hi, is there is there room for us to stay? Nope, there's no room. And this this went on and on throughout the entire city. No one had a room for Jesus to be born. Everyone was busy, was full, and no one had time for anything. But look what happened. As they walked a little bit more, Mary and Joseph, they came across a manger. A manger is like a little farm where the animals stay. A barn. In this place, this is where Jesus was born. And he was placed in a manger he was placed in a manger here in in this place here that was very simple place very simple where jesus was born but even so the birth of jesus was glorious because the our savior our king was born the one that came to bring true peace true joy eternal life what a wonderful gift the Lord gave to us. Now raise your hand. Who likes getting a present? I like getting presents. But did you know that the best present, the best gift, the biggest bit gift that we can have is to have Jesus in our hearts. This is why we have to open our hearts for Jesus so he can be born in our hearts. But is it only for one day that we're going to open our hearts? No. The word of the Lord says, the word of the Lord does not say what day Jesus was born. Because he, the word of the Lord teaches us that Jesus has to be born in our hearts every single day. And we celebrate Christmas, the birth of Jesus, every single day in our hearts. We celebrate this wonderful day every single day. So Christmas, we understand, means birth. Birth of who? who are we, what, what birth do we celebrate every single day in our hearts? The birth of Jesus, our Savior. Amen? And for us, that our parents and those responsible, the Lord is teaching us that we have to be attentive for the, the signs uh, occurring. Because Jesus is coming back. Jesus is soon to return. The people at the time, they weren't paying attention. They didn't see the birth of Jesus. But Jesus is teaching us the true Christmas. We must teach this lesson to our children. That the true Christmas is to have Jesus in our hearts as our Savior. To have him alive in our hearts. Amen. So now we're going to sing a song that says, A New Day. A new day broke through the darkness. Shining the light of Jesus' love. His peace began to reign in me when Jesus made his home in my heart. A new day broke through the darkness, 
shining the light of Jesus' love. His peace began to reign in me. when Jesus made his home in my heart. And now we're going to glorify the Lord to end this class and this great blessing that the Lord has given us each day, which is to have Jesus being born in our hearts. Lord, we thank you. We glorify you for this blessing, this amazing blessing that you have given us for the birth of the Lord Jesus in our hearts every single day, for the joy, for salvation, for eternal life. We glorify you for all of these blessings. In the name of Jesus, amen.